How's it going everybody? My name is Magneti and I welcome you to the mothership. And today we're gonna be actually doing a review on Hell Let Loose. Let's get started. All right, first off, I just wanna cover a couple of things before we jump into the review. These three things here. So one, what is Hell Let Loose? Two, who made it? And finally three, what platform is it on? So what is Hell Let Loose? Hell Let Loose, or HLL as I'll refer, refer to it as, is an intense immersive World War II game with a very heavy focus on realism. And in my opinion, it's a pretty close competitor to Battlefield and Arma, and honestly it's a lot better than Battlefield, at least the recent ones. And I haven't played Arma, I've only seen gameplay, so I'm just comparing based off of what I've seen from Arma. Anyway, HLL was developed by Black Matter PTY in Australia, so it is not a US based game, keep that in mind. And you may have even noticed that a lot more European YouTubers have been covering the game recently than US based YouTubers, at least I've noticed that. And then lastly, what platforms can you play HLL on? Well, it's available on all modern platforms except for Switch, so that would be PC, the Xbox Series versions, and PS5. All right, let's talk gameplay and graphics. The attention to detail in the gameplay mechanics, realistic weapon handling, and environmental design is honestly just extraordinary. Damn near everything is polished in this game, it's unbelievable. Obviously, there are still some small issues just like any other game, such as like vaulting over certain objects can be difficult in some areas, tanks not fitting through spaces that they look like they should, or you know, minor graphical glitches like people flying across the map when they get shot with a tank shell for example. Some things that really struck me as incredible were the audio clarity, the constantly required teamwork through VoIP or voice chat, and the deep sense of immersion I got from just jumping into a game. Black Matter, the development company of HLL, has done a really good job with Hell Let Loose. Moving into the story and characters. Now, although HLL doesn't have a campaign, it does follow the history and story of World War II, and since the narrative of HLL is completely World War II based, there's a lot of history involved in playing the game. Not like you have to love history to play the game, but anyway, I'm not a history nut, but from tanks to guns to maps, the game feels pretty historically accurate. A lot of the tanks and guns are very old looking and they look like World War II guns. I, again, I'm not a history nut, so I don't know for sure, but even within the game, people are calling tanks like Pumas and Panthers and you know, it's, it's crazy, it's insane. As I mentioned before, a lot of teamwork is required in HLL, from the commander to squad leader, squad leader to squad, and back up again is really how the game operates. The commander runs the show, the squad leaders, or officers is what they're actually called, lead the squads, and the squads do the majority of the grunt work. There are many different roles you can play within each squad as well, with a total of 14 different positions to play, excluding the commander position. Each role is broken down into a different category or squad as well, such as like anti-tank, armor, infantry, and recon are some examples. And this is the core of HLL, and honestly, I think this is what makes it so unique and wholesome, in my personal opinion. If you found value in this video so far, go ahead and drop a sub down below, that's how I know that I'm doing something right here and giving you guys the content you enjoy. Anyway, moving on, let's brisk over multiplayer since I kind of chatted about it a bit already. Each server can host epic battles of 50v50, once you can find and get into a server, that is, because a lot of the servers are pretty busy. With such a large number of people, battles can become, like, just insanely intense really quickly. Like, a tank can roll up on you in a second, and you're just, like, freaking the fuck out. Like, oh my god, I'm not an anti-tank team. And then you gotta, like, tell your squad leader or your officer to, like, call an anti-tank team. and you're like trying to defend the objective, but there's like 10 dudes behind the tank and they're all lobbing grenades at you and then boom, you're fucked right in the ass. Wow. Anyway, something to keep in mind if you are US based is that you won't find any US servers. So I usually just sort the server list by ping and go with whatever the least amount of ping is that has a decent amount of room left in the server. Anyway, like I mentioned before, there's tons of teamwork and I don't just mean working as a team. Actual strategy needs to be coming from your commander to win the battle. Keep in mind again, the commander is the guy at the very top giving orders down to the officers and the officers lead the squads. All right, moving into maps and environments. There's been some complaints from the veteran players that more content needs to be added, but as a new player myself, I feel like there are quite a few different maps and they all have quite different environments as well. Open grasslands to forests to broken cities, just kind of like World War II, sadly. Along with this array of environments, there's some destructible buildings and very realistic physics too. For example, struck by a tank cannon, dead on, 
and your corpse will blow into bits. Struck from afar by a rocket? Say goodbye to the Earth you once knew. You're going to take off like a jet. Lastly, I want to talk about community and support. There's a relatively large community within this game, and a lot of people I've run into have been more than willing to help me learn the game. I played as an officer, not a commander, but an officer for my first time just the other day, and my entire squad was really helping me out. They were kind of giving me pointers and tips, and as I would talk to the commander and the other officers as well, which I could get into that in just a second, they were also kind of helping me out, figure out what I was doing. So just seconds ago, I mentioned talking to other officers and the commander and my squad. So something I want to mention quick is that in Hell Let Loose, there are three different chat modes for voice chat. There is the officer's chat, the squad chat, and VoIP, and they all have different buttons to press to talk to each other as well. What's cool about playing as an officer or as the commander is that you get to talk to all of the other officers in the game. So for example, if you're playing as an infantry, infantry group and you need anti-tank support, you can, <clears throat> and you're playing as an officer, you can call to the other officers in the game and be like, hey, we need anti-tank support XYZ location using, you know, talking separately from your squad so your squad doesn't overhear you. It's a very interesting and very unique form of communication that I really, really enjoy. Anyway, moving on, talking about the community again. So the community thus far has seemed very, very, very non-toxic and helpful from everything I've experienced so far. I haven't been in the HLL scene for very long, but I have certainly heard of how respected the dev team is too. They've consistent updates and respond to player feedback relatively quickly, which is really, really good. Along with everything I've already mentioned, a lot of people are continuing to discover this game and it's growing every day. So the community is getting bigger and bigger and it's only going to get better from here in my opinion. I highly recommend you check HLL out. All right, so Hell Let Loose, it's an intense, immersive World War II game with nearly no flaws in my opinion, intense attention to detail, and very caring dev team. These are all insanely important things to developing a very good game. I would highly recommend anyone that's into war or history games to try this game out, especially those of you who enjoy COD or Battlefield. All right, guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Other than that, stay tuned for more gaming content, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.